Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to code pathway lighting. Now this is the first video of a series of coding videos I'm going to be uploading. Each one I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to code cool features on your BMW. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how to code pathway lighting. It'll let you turn on your headlights and as well as your tail lights with the click of the trunk button. So you click it and your headlights will turn on as well as your tail lights. Now it's a cool feature because let's say if you live in a dark neighborhood and you want some lights while you're walking to your car or away from your car, you can use it to turn it on to give you some lights. And they will turn off by themselves after the set amount of seconds. So you can, you can set the amount of seconds you want them to stay on. I have mine for 30 seconds, so they will turn off after 30 seconds. You can put it all the way up to 240 seconds, which is four minutes. And also, if, let's say you're parked in a parking spot and you can't see your car, you can turn on the lights and you'll see some headlights turn on, which is a cool feature to find your car better in a dark parking lot. Now, like I said, you just use your remote control to do it. You'll hit the trunk button. Or if you have this type of remote control, you can hit the, the fourth button, which will work as well. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to code it. Okay, the first thing you want to do is, what I like to do is I always like to open up IMPA to make sure the car is communicating with the computer. You'll see battery ignition or shaded black, so you can go ahead and exit out of IMPA. The next program, of course, you want to use NCS Expert, this is what we're going to be using to code the module. So go ahead and load up your NCS Expert. And load up your coding profile you're going to be using. I like using the coding profile, select OK. Then you want to hit F1, and then F3. Select E60 and then OK for the cast module. And you can see your VIN and vehicle order show. Now you can press F6 for back. And then you want to press process ECU F4. And you want to select the module LMA. And select OK. Select OK. And then you want to press F4 for read ECU. It's going to read. And once this pops up, it means it read it. Go ahead and exit this text document. And I have a, a shortcut to my work folder on my desktop, so go to your work folder and select the FSW PSW.TRC file and load it up. Now we're gonna search for a string. I like to use the edit find, that way you can find it easier. And this is the string you want to find. I don't know how to pronounce it, it's in German. Select next, so it'll take you straight to it. Then underneath it where it says niche active, you want to delete the part that says niche underscore so that it only says active. Go ahead and file, save. And then you want to go back to the file. This time you want to select save as. And on the bottom where it says save as type, select all files. And in the very end of that file name, you want to type in .man and save it. If asked you to replace, go ahead and put yes. You can go back to the NCS expert. And you want to select change job F2 and select SG Codirin. And then you want to select F3 execute job. Now it's going to write that change string to the module. So we're just going to wait for it to say coding ended. And once it does, everything's done. You can turn the car off, let it sit for a second, and then test out that everything went good by testing out the remote control. Now that you have pathway lighting coded, I'm going to show you guys how to change the settings. So you just go to your settings menu. Now this is a CIC interface. I have the CIC retrofit. Uh, if you have the regular non-navigation or if you have the navigation CCC, it's gonna be the same steps. It's just gonna look different how to get to it. So you'll go to your settings menu and then you go to the lighting. And right here, pathway light, that's where you set how many seconds you want the lights to stay on for. You can go from zero all the way to 240, which is four minutes. I personally like to keep mine at 30 seconds, which I feel it's uh, long enough. And that's it. Hope it was easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe because I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos of coding, things you can do to the BMWs, specifically the E60 or any BMW I can get my hands on. Follow me on Instagram if you don't. I'll put the link below. Comment anything you want me to code next or anything you guys want me to review on. I'll, I'll take a look and see if I can do any reviews on it. Thanks everyone for watching.